How can human beings and machines collaborate in the future for a better future? Yesterday I met Professor Sami Hadadin from the School of Robotics and Machine Intelligence of the Technical University of Munich. I asked him about his vision of how machines and human beings can collaborate in the future, can learn from each other and develop joint skills. Yeah, sure. Um, so I think the idea of what I was trying to, uh, to conceive as a message was the idea that technology, um, rightly put into use, can serve as our tool. So not only to, to do something, to create something, to manufacture something, but also for sake of learning. Think of it as a kind of teacher and apprentice relationship. Uh, either way, it can go so that you can really make the best out of both worlds and try to use technology as a tool that can basically nurture the way that we learn, tries to be individualized and essentially can be an extension of ourself in a way that we can really um, make use of this kind of tremendous knowledge that could be um, kind of could be made available to individuals based on their needs, based on their skills and based on the desired skills that they might have at some point. Can you elaborate a little bit more? What impact can that have, for example, on schools, on learners, on universities? Well, I mean, in a way, I think this is a question that has not been answered at all, as of today, I would say. Um, but I think it's kind of clear if you train, for example, music, if you do sports, if you do all kinds of um, kind of skill-based um, things, the, the necessity of a skilled teacher is, is crucial, right? And it's kind of forming the way that um, styles, for example, music can, can be developed, but kind of put together with your own individualistic part of it. And I think, in a, in a way, what I'm trying to say is that we should develop machines, we should develop systems that can help us to develop our own skills in the best possible way, not kind of relieving us from, from all the things we, we might do, but kind of supporting us to develop them in a, in a better way. And I think this is just a, a way of saying that the AI of today and tomorrow might be the hammer of tomorrow, the paintbrush of tomorrow, and also the instrument of tomorrow. And I, I would love to see technology be used in the best possible, possible way. And uh, this might be one interpretation. Professor Hadadin, thanks very much for this informative conversation.